Hi, can I help you? Hi, um, yeah, I was interested in the Fate franchise and I heard I could come here for more information. Oh, well, come on in, make yourself a home. Look, we're always looking for new fans to join our course, so we're here to make things as easy as possible. You can ask me any question. Okay, so where do I start? Accept that question. Is there not a beginning? Do you want the long version or the short version? The short version. So in the beginning there was Fate Stay Night, which is a visual novel with three different routes. Fate, A Limited Blade Works, and Heaven's Feel, which needs to be played out in that exact order. Now the Fate route has been adapted once by Studio Dean in 2006 as an anime series, A Limited Blade Works has been adapted twice, once by Studio Dean as a movie, and once by Euphonable as a full series, who are also adapting Heaven's Feel, but only as a trilogy of movies, only of which one is out at the moment. I thought you were going to give me the short version. This is the short version. So technically speaking, anime-wise, the 2016 adaptation is the beginning and serves as a good introduction to the world. Okay, so why can't I just start with that? Because it's shit. Oh, yeah, in terms of mainline adaptations, only the ones by Euphonable are worth watching, but you can't start with Fate Stay Night on Limited Blade Works because that spoils Fate Zero. What's Fate Zero? Oh, well, it's just a prequel that takes place before Fate Stay Night and serves as a good introduction to the world of Fate. All right, so I'll just start with Fate Zero. Well, no, because Fate Zero spoils Fate Stay Night Heaven's Feel. <laughs> wait, wait, so in, in, in other words, Fate Stay Night spoils Fate Zero, and Fate Zero spoils Fate Stay Night. Yep, that makes no sense. That's why you should just read the visual novel. All right, how long does that take? Around 100 hours. That's a pretty big commitment. Just read the visual novel. But I don't have 100 hours. Read the visual novel. Can't I just like- Read the fucking visual novel! Or not. I can never agree with myself anyway. Okay, well, that's everything, right? <laughs> no. There's more? Do you want the long version or the short version? The short? Well, you see, you have Fate Hollow Attracts here, which is a continuation of Fate Stay Night, but only exists in visual novel form at the moment with no anime adaptation. Now, you also have Fate Prototype, which is a reimagining of the whole Fate Stay Night events, but only in a one episode OVA form. So that's Now, Fate Apocrypha takes place in a completely alternate universe, and this includes one anime adaptation and one light novel. And of course, there's the Fate Extraverse, which is another alternate universe, and this includes three games, Fate Extra, Fate Extra Triple C, and Fate Extella, and of course, they also has one anime adaptation in Fate Extra Last Encore. <sighs> okay. So, I'm guessing the only connection with all of these is that one chick with the sword. You mean Saber? Yes? Oh no, they're totally different characters. Well, you see, the original Saber is meant to be King Arthur, who in Fate Law is actually a woman. Now, these other Sabers aren't actually King Arthur. They're completely different characters who also happen to be women and also happen to be in the Saber class. Okay, so you're saying that this isn't the original Saber? Nope. And this? That's right. And everyone here? They're different characters and look similar. And these two Sabers are also different from each other. <laughs> no, 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 no. You see, one's Red Saber and the other one is Saber of Red. Get it? No. It's pretty simple. And they aren't related to the original Saber at all. Only Saber of Red. You mean the Saber that's red or the one that looks like Saber? Yes. She's actually the original Saber's son. And Saber, King Arthur, is her dad. Wait a minute, you, you literally just said that they were all girls. You said it, but... How does... Oh, it's basically the same as standard Arthurian legend, except this time King Arthur is given a dick by Merlin, who can then be forced upon by her wife so she can make a baby, and then out pops Mordred as your standard homunculus rape baby. There's no way that's canon. Oh, it's canon. If you want to learn more about the lore and the servants, then the mobile game Fate Go is a good starting point. Um, do I dare ask if I should get into Fate Go? Depends. Do you have piles of money you wish to burn and countless hours to spiral downwards, grinding away in a never-ending cycle? to satisfy your love for your fate waifus that you'll never ever get back? No? You don't want to get into Fate Go. And then of course there's Fate Kalia Prisma Ilia, which is a magical girl spin-off of the original Fate Stay Night. I don't think I need to watch that. It has lesbian lollies kissing. I think I'll need to watch that. Oh, and before I forget, there's also the cooking spin-off by Studio Euphotable, where basically the cast of Fate Stay Night cook food and stuff, and all of this is all part of the greater Nasuverse, which to explain- Right, stop!
Okay? Stop. This is too much. This is a complete clusterfuck. How did this get so out of control? I literally have no idea.